Hey y'all, hey, come with us to Arizona. We almost missed our flight. That's why she looking so aggravated. We only did our personal item with that fire fire backpack. Never leave home without it. This is us landing in Arizona. We're in Phoenix and going to pick up the car. Zero out of zero. Do not fucking recommend renting an electric vehicle, especially if you're going on a road trip. You hear me? Don't do it. This is our first stop. We went to a black owned restaurant called Lolo Chicken and Waffles. It had really good reviews online. We went in there and the food was fired. It had a little DJ playing a little music. It wasn't really that many people there, but it was in the middle of the day on a Thursday. We decided to keep the big bag activity to a minimum and share a plate. This is what we ate. We had a platter. Each one of us had one drink. And here's the review. All right, Lolo's Chicken and Waffles. What are you giving them? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. She going in fresh, but it was still really, 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 really good. What about the biscuit? Ten out of ten. The biscuit was warm. That motherfucking biscuit was fire. Oh, they must have made that butter. They churned. They churned that yeah, butter in the back. Right you get too excited about food. That's why we gotta we gotta take it easy. That <laughs> butter. Next stop was Stardust and Sage. I've been following this young lady since before she even had her own shop. And I purchased candles and things from her. So I wanted to go and check her shop out since I was in her city. I did miss her this time, but she came back up there later on on another day and met with me. And it was really dope. This girl left it to, like, <laughs> she had like she can't wait till we get back to Houston. Hell. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Pit stop. <laughs> this girl Googling this. So you hit me. <laughs> you got what you need. <laughs> now, recreational marijuana is going? legal in Arizona. So our next stop was the flower shop. We went ahead and got some gummies and a pre-roll, which neither one of us even smoked. So I don't know why. Then we were hungry. It was kind of late. So we found a taco truck. This is what Auntie liked. Auntie liked taco trucks on the side of the road. It was fire. Now, the next morning, we had to wake up at 5 a.m. to head out so, to the hot air balloon. I'm at Fry's um, Grocery Store, which is the meetup point for the hot air balloon ride. We basically get in the van with them, and they drive us to the launch spot. It is 6.26. We've been here since 6 a.m. Still not want to be late. Now, they low-key look like kidnapper vans, but we got inside anyways. Now, the hot air balloon ride was the whole reason why we came to Arizona. Krisha wanted to ride in one of these things, so I wanted to make sure she was able to experience that. I was a little bit scared, especially when he told us there was no safety mechanism. Overall, it was good. They provided breakfast and mimosas. Next up, we went to a black-owned restaurant called Sugar Jam, and it was lit. We walked in, my mama was turned up. It's her birthday. She's shaking it down with her auntie. It was really a little vibe. The food was pretty good. Pops was in there showing out. And I was singing to him. The next thing I know, he called me. And I'm like, oh, I ain't going to turn down. No challenge. So <laughs> I went there and partook in the foolery, okay? So we each had a drink from here as well. We ordered a burger. I did not eat because I was full from breakfast, but it was lit. Unfortunately, I had to do homework. So I got some coffee, then my homework. Um, then we did some meditation, uh, 10 minute guided meditation in the little garden that was there. It was dope. For dinner, we went to State STK. It had really good reviews, but unfortunately, I was told in child. Me in school was told up already. Really just me because oh. I was out of there. Oh. <laughs> hey. So. Um, the ambiance was lit. The little walk where they had it in the little plaza was lit. We had a good time going in and then I had too much of a time and I was actually ready to go. But this is us walking in. Uh, Quisha's doing a little dance for y'all. And um, you can see here the ambiance where it's really nicely decorated. The low light. I love it. so Instagrammable. I didn't get to get the full experience because unfortunately I fell asleep at the table. But <laughs> we ordered um, steak and um, macaroni and cheese. That bread was everything. We also had some truffle fries. I had some type of margarita bag thing. Yeah, this is me. Stuck. Stuck. I'll come out. I was stuck. <laughs> I was like, can we get the check? I'm ready to go. Um, 
We got some waggle butter on top of the steak and they come over, pull out a flame blower and they actually melt the butter, toast it, whatever. That was really a vibe for sure. And then the next morning we left at 7 a.m. for a four hour ride. That took us way longer because the car kept going dead. And there's only two charging stations between the four hour ride and one of them is an hour out of the way. Nonetheless, it was super worth it. The canyon was absolutely beautiful. The tour guide was very knowledgeable. They took really good pictures of us and we had a really good time. We left at 7 a.m. We did not get home till 1 a.m., but we still had a good time. It was scary because we almost got stranded in the middle of nowhere, but it was worth it. So this is us on the way home. As you can see, 27 miles, 14% on the car. By the time we actually got to the station, we had 2% battery. We overpacked, so we had to ship some stuff back home. And this is us at the airport, our flight delayed, waiting on the plane. Here we are on the plane and on our way back to Texas. Houston, we're home. That's all, folks.